Good morning, everyone. It's Lonnie, and welcome back to the shed. Um, I've got this much more to list of cosmetics. There's a few things in that little box up there, too. Uh, just a little update for y'all. I've listed just a hair over 1,100 items now. Uh, that's not 1,100 listings. That's items for $28,911. So I'm just a little bit under the halfway point on listing this stuff and uh, it's going pretty well. I, I think I can probably get it done in about a week, maybe a little more, but I'm, I'm really gunning to be done with this by Friday, listing that stuff. Um, also, I've had a lot of, I've seen a lot of comments about you need to do something with this. And yes, I do. And that is definitely high on my, my list, but it's not as high on my list as getting everything that I've been buying like the past three or four weeks, getting everything listed. So I've been on a mission. I bought, I bought a bunch of Hot Wheels. I bought a bunch of stuff at a uh, private pick. I bought a bunch of jeans and I bought a bunch of makeup in the past in a span of about two weeks, I spent about $17,000 on that stuff. So my number one priority ever since I bought all that stuff was to get it all put up, all listed. That's the only thing. Between that and filling orders, shipping out orders, those are the only two things I'm basically allowing myself to work on except for a little time working on these videos, uh, which I've cut down the time on that too to... Um, to allow myself more time to list and ship. So that's where I'm at. Now, once once I finish with the makeup, I'll probably break away and fix up that area, take all that stuff out. And I think I'm probably gonna put another one of these in on this side. I'm thinking about moving that rack over there and then putting a the bench right in the middle there and probably getting rid of this. So, but I'll tackle that after all the makeup's listed. Listen, this makeup is the number one priority right now though. Um, I do have, I think like 53 items or so going out. It is a week, uh, it is a holiday today. So there's no shipping today, but um, I do need to go ahead and get this stuff packed up and ready to go for tomorrow. And um, probably not gonna list a whole bunch today. I'll probably try and get 100, 200 items put up though. And when I say that, a lot of times when I'm putting a listing up, it'll it'll be like one item, but then 15, 20, 25 shades of that same item. So it'll end up being like um, a lot of multi-quantity listings. So if I say I'm gonna list 100 items, I may only be listing like six things, seven things. But anyway, let's go ahead and pull some orders. Before we start pulling orders, I also wanna mention that my main store did get switched to uh, managed eBay managed payments yesterday and I was really concerned because I have heard some horror stories about um, just a ton of listings getting taken down by eBay once the switch to managed payments were made I saw that in the RVA flips water cooler Facebook group which I do always link down below uh, I'm a member of that good place for information but I was kind of scared that a lot of my listings were going to get shut down for whatever reason um, and fortunately only one of my listings got shut down and it's not surprising because it's for a coin um, or a, there's a couple of coins here and then some currency all fake um, but this this listing got shut down which I knew it would because um, you, you can't sell coins and currency uh, via managed payments at least not yet so that's the only one that got shut down and then um, so far sales today have been great. I've got 11 sales today since it got turned on. So sales are, you know, my, my eBay store is selling like I expected to, maybe a little better than I expected to. Only one listing got taken down. And now the only thing to see is um, if the deposits get made and I'm sure they will. So, well, I'm not sure, but hopefully they will. So, so far, fingers crossed, uh, everything looks good with the managed payment switch. All right, first pull is a couple of things from my second store. This is 
sensations for New Orleans Saints cheerleaders calendar is signed like a bunch of times even on like this page it's got a bunch of signatures but uh yeah I got $39.99 for that and then I had another calendar for this Maurice or Maurice or Mary S.E. I I don't know how you say that uh $19.99 I don't even know who this is French kiss to you be sexy in her name so yeah 20 bucks for that plus shipping i went ahead and pulled i'm gonna do them like this today just because <laughs> it's because there's a lot of stuff here uh but let me get these photos ready these are the photos i've actually done screenshots for to put in the video as a pull so yeah some smashbox makeup 39.99 some lipstick for 17.99 and all the makeup stuff i'm doing free shipping on reason being and i've been asked this a pretty good bit uh it looks like it's just that's the way business is done in the makeup category so i'll just play along with that whatever that's fine um uh, in general i don't love i still don't love free shipping but with this kind of stuff it's usually shipping out at like four five six ounces so it's it's not a big deal i can play that game uh, sold some DVDs blanks for $4.99 plus shipping. I have um, I have maybe eight more of those or something like that. Uh, sold some jeans, some what are these 550s, big and talls for $31.99 plus ship, and then some 501s for $34.99 plus ship. And then I I showed y'all one of these belt buckles a couple days ago. These Smokey, Smokey the Bear belt buckles. Is it Smokey the Bear or Smokey Bear? I'm not sure. I think it's Smokey Bear. Smokey Bear belt buckles. Um, I think from the 70s. Sold one the other day. And then I sold this one right here for $55 plus shipping. And I have one more left. So these were a friggin' little, little gold mine for me. And then uh, Karen E. bought a couple of things for, I think she said for her brother... It's either brother or brother-in-law brother for her brother uh, she bought him a pair of jeans and also a game for his kids to play so uh, thank you very much Karen I appreciate it and I hope they like their stuff really do and then the last thing on this round is this evil weevil Volkswagen car loose sold for $19.99 plus shipping on top okay i've got another batch of stuff laid out and i know it gets mundane doing hot wheels makeup and jeans but that's what i'm doing right now so i i can't really show um i can't really show anything other than what i'm actually doing but the good news is the hot wheels are a pretty finite item i don't have that many left jeans are moving along pretty quickly makeup you might see for a while <laughs> but as i list other stuff you should start seeing other stuff too so anyways uh i have the next round of stuff pulled out pulled up uh bifocal sold for 34.99 then this plymouth Veracuda on the same order sold for 24.99 and then i'm getting into a lot of makeup sold an eyeliner for 19.99 sold a lip shine for $27.99 some jeans for $24.99 some more eyeliner for $19.99 some lipstick for $21.99 and yeah that see that's a variation listing right there and then another pair of jeans for $29.99 some makeup for $24.99 and then last thing on this round is another pair of jeans for $27.99. Okay, here's the next batch. Uh, three powder foundations for $59.97. And this is some of that body shop stuff. Um, $19.99. I charge shipping on this one. Plus like five bucks shipping or something. And then um, this Smashbox Camera Ready BB Cream. $39.99. That stuff is that stuff is really pricey. A pair of jeans for $31.99. A Diora 2 uh Redline Club car for $19.99. That's a foundation, just a brush 
for $14.99 free ship. Uh, let's see, got another order coming in now. <laughs> uh, some flawless finished sponge on cream makeup for $27.99. That is an eyeliner, I think. Yeah, waterproof eyeliner for $24.99. Two more of the Smashbox BB creams sold for uh, $39.99 each. Then two of these mineral powder foundations sold for $39.98. Two eye masks sold for uh, $39.98. And then a pair of jeans sold for $37.99. So let me get this stuff packed. All right, I pulled the next round. And this is something that I've kind of cooled on a little bit, although if I found them at the right price, I can't say for sure I wouldn't buy them again. Uh, high school yearbooks, maybe not college, definitely not college. I'd probably still continue to buy high school though if I found some, you know, found some at a pretty good price. But anyways, uh, two high school yearbooks. This one, uh, 1999. This one's 1998 from Parkview Baptist in Baton Rouge. I think that school's closed down now. Uh, I got $24.99 per yearbook, and pretty sure I have a dollar into each one. So, great ROI. Um, this is a Mustang Mach 1 that sold for $39.99 plus shipping. Then a backpack that sold for $34.99 plus shipping, and I really don't remember buying this. Probably paid about $5, I would guess. I'm pretty sure that's a garage sale find. I don't remember it at all. Sold this belt buckle for Tampa Electric Safety Achievement. <laughs> uh, sold that for $14.99 plus shipping. And then a couple of makeup things here. This is going out to Eric. He bought it for his wife. Ceramide Capsules Daily Youth Restoring Eye Serum. It's like little little golden nodules or whatever in there 60 of them so thanks a lot eric i appreciate it hope she likes it although she she probably already knows what it is if you're buying it for her. then um sold this brow shaper and eyeliner they got three of the same color for about 60 dollars total and then finally on this run is some blush that sold for 24.99 free ship sold some dr shoals Arch supports. I started with like 30 of these. I've only got like four left now. $24.99 plus shipping. Uh, sold a highway hauler with a holiday type paint on it for $49.99 plus shipping on top. Sold this Smashbox eyeshadow for $12.99 free ship. Sold jeans for $29.99 plus shipping on top. I think those are, yeah, those are going to a viewer. Uh, snow today in Montana. Wow. Uh, these are going out to Spencer. So Spencer, thank you very much. Do appreciate it. Hope you like these jeans. Sold that same exact eyeshadow again. $12.99 of course. And then uh, this is a blush for $24.99. And then another pair of jeans for $33.99. Okay, the pack pile keeps growing. Orders were growing for a while too. I went through like a two hour period today where it's like sale 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 it's pretty good day today <laughs> uh but anyway more makeup going out some mineral powder for 20 some more of this bb cream for 40 39.99 i wish i had more of this stuff they like this stuff uh this stuff here for perfecting powder for 34.99 pair of jeans for 27.99 plus shipping on that and then somebody bought three of these Elizabeth Arden Pure Finish Mineral Powders, three order, a three powder order for $59.97. Then some makeup for $13.99. This blush, yeah, blush for $24.99. This makeup for $39.99. And finally, this sponge on cream makeup for $27.99. All right, last four orders uh at least for tonight uh I'll probably close the video off too i guess uh but yeah this ice tea car loose red line club 22.99 plus shipping then somebody bought three of these makeups 
Elizabeth Arden makeups for $53.97. Then this flawless finish sponge on cream makeup for $27.99. And then the most expensive makeup purchase today. Um, this Prevage Anti-Aging Daily Serum for $74.99 free ship. So let me get this packed up. Good morning, everyone. It's Lonnie. We are still on the shed. Well, I did go to bed <laughs> and I came back out. But here's all the stuff I packed up yesterday and these three Ikea bags. And I have some boxer sizers over here that are going out. I uh, also have four orders that came in overnight that I'm going to go ahead and pull now, too. Um, have some Hot Wheels cars called the Heavies. See, are they here? This could be them. Yes, this is them right here. The heavies, these sold for $74.99 plus shipping on top. Then let's see, I have some cosmetics. Let me go grab it. Yeah, sold uh this Prevage anti-aging makeup for $39.99. Plus, I have a couple of uh, good Hot Wheels orders. All right, this order has four cars on it. Have a 67 Camaro that sold for $69.99. Then a Purple Passion that sold for $15.99. A Super Fine Turbine that sold for $34.99. And then this Pink Ambulance that sold for $44.99. That's all on one order. Uh, going to Canada on that one definitely getting insured and then the last thing that I'm shipping today is this mutt mobile that is going out to Thomas in the UK so thank you very much Thomas do appreciate it and uh, let me get this stuff packed and I have a couple of questions I want to answer all right two more orders came in before I left and uh, one of them is a Smokey the Bear belt buckle $54.99 plus shipping that's the third and final one that i had in stock so i never thought i would sell 165 worth of uh did i say yogi smoky the bear <laughs> belt buckles i never thought these would be worth that much but they were that was a nice little hidden gem there and then the last thing is some more makeup uh 27.99 for this little box of goop right here so get this packed okay let's do a few questions now uh james owens have you done anything with those beanie babies yet i have a hundred to sell myself from a garage sale and was wondering how you're going to price and list them there's a million things to look for on those things uh you're right there are like you have to have knowledge about beanie babies to make money on them i guess or to know what you're dealing with i am um, after I finish listing all the makeup, I'll deal with the Beanie Babies. My plan is to sell them in large lots and sell them relatively cheap. I'm going to price them to move and make a good profit, but mostly to move. So I'm not going to research. So people might be able to go through the photos and find like some gems in there and then buy the lot and get it. And I'm, I'm cool with that. I'm not going to try and make max profit off of the ones I have. But a lot of y'all have been asking about the Beanie Babies. And yeah, I still have them. Um, I'm just not going to mess with them until I finish with the cosmetics. But right after I finish the cosmetics, I'm going to deal with the Beanie Babies. So y'all will be able to see how that goes. Uh, Tyler said, have you looked into some 6x4x3 by by boxes? They're very light and a great size for cosmetics. It's funny you say that. I actually just ordered a bunch of shipping supplies. I got some bubble wrap. I got some poly mailers from eBay. I've got some uh, 10 by 6 by 4 boxes. But to your point earlier, I actually got 500. This thing is right. I got 500 of these things. I put some here put some I had to sock them away all over the place because I got so many of them I put some over here this is it yeah this is it six by four by four and these are really light too 
I have eight by six by four and they were just too big for a lot of the cosmetics. So I think this six by four by four is gonna be a good size. Six by four by three probably would have been a little better, but um, I figured those would be, that size would be pretty, um, pretty good for other stuff other than cosmetics too. I also, uh, on some cosmetics, I actually just send it in a bubble mailer depending but a lot of times when it's like something that's $30, $40, I'd rather send in a little box. Okay, last question from the dude. Uh, Lonnie has a lot of new inventory that he needs time to list and pack and less time currently to do questions. It does get a bit repetitive that he seemingly now mostly only sells cosmetics, Hot Wheels, and jeans. True. Uh, he sold 81 items in the last seven days, 79 items from the mean pc store but only two from the garage flip store probably true sounds about right i feel like lately some of us probably have slow sales like the garage flip store and if lonnie hadn't acquired jeans cosmetics and hot wheels would he have only sold 18 items in a week 16 on mean pc were not cosmetics hot wheels or jeans okay so i i, I think the answer to that question what I've only sold, if not for cosmetics, Hot Wheels, and jeans, what I've only sold 18 items in a week? And the answer is no. And the reason is because if I hadn't been listing cosmetics, Hot Wheels, and jeans for the past month, which I have been doing, I've been working through this stuff for like a month, um, I wouldn't have been sitting around twiddling my thumbs, um, playing around on Facebook, blah, 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 all day. I would have been sourcing and or listing other stuff that hopefully would have sold. I think it would have, it always has in the past. Um, so if it wouldn't have been that stuff, it would have been some other stuff that's selling. I don't have a whole lot of inventory in my stores. Like before, before I started acquiring Hot Wheels, jeans, cosmetics, my main store had like 370 something items in it. And my second store had like 130 or 115 or something like that. Something real low. Um, reason being that most of the stuff I've been sourcing lately, uh, it, it sells through pretty quickly. So if I don't list anything, if I didn't list anything for a month, um, I probably would have extremely low sales. But I don't plan on unless, God forbid, I get sick or something happens to me or something. Uh, I don't plan on sitting around not listing for a month. So to answer the question, would I have only sold 18 things? No, I would have sold something else. I would have been listing something else at least anyways. But um, yeah, I'm, you know, I'm actually not tired. Like right at the end of listing the jeans, I was starting to get sick of them. So I was glad those were over with. The Hot Wheels, I enjoyed listing the Hot Wheels for the most part. Um, the cosmetics, I'm not hating them so far, On to be honest. It's not that bad. But um, I do understand that, you know, it, it's going to get a little bit repetitive. I'm going to try and kind of change the way that I present that information maybe in these videos. Just because it's um, makeup, blush, powder, eyeliner over and over and over ad infinitum. Uh, I know that's going to get old. It's going to get a little old for me too. So I might have to revisit how I how I show that. But yeah, th those types of questions. Well, if you if you wouldn't have gotten this, then you wouldn't have had all those sales. Or if you wouldn't do YouTube, or if you wouldn't have done this. The the, the other side of that question is always yeah, but if I wouldn't have been doing that, I would have been doing something else, and that would have been fruitful in some way. You know, like, it's not like if I wouldn't have been doing that, I would have been doing nothing unless I'm sick or something. Right. So anyways, that's going to be it for today. Thank y'all very much for watching. I'll see y'all again soon. Take care. Bye bye.